Okay, welcome back. So we need a way to update this number right here. Okay, so let's create a function. Let's go to functions.php. And right here, we're going to say function um, check notification. Like that. And then what we're going to return is a number that represents how many notifications are there. So for now, I'm just going to say number is equal to zero. And then I'm going to say return number. So all we have to do in the process here is to update number. And that's about it. Okay. So now to do what we want to do is we already have most of what we need here. So let's copy from in here and paste here. Okay. So we just want to look for notifications that are not, uh, so we will read from notifications and then compare the, those that are not inside this notification scene, then it means they haven't been seen. So we won't need this ID here. So I will remove that. We just need our user ID. And then the second thing is go to notifications.php and copy, copy the query. Mm hmm. Goody. So profile.php. Right here. So let's copy that query. So selector from notifications where blah blah blah. User ID is equal, not equal to ID. Content owner is not equal to ID. So this ID is the user ID. So let me change that to user ID. Order by, so we don't need to order by and we can just limit, we can still limit to 30. So let's, let's leave that. So you can limit to how many notifications you want to show. You can just change that number. Okay, so data is uh, here. So if we data did not return anything, we're just going to return zero notification. So we can just say if is array data, open bracket. Let's duplicate this one to close it and let's push those in there. Okay, so if, oh, sorry about that, wrong side. And we need a closing one there, great. So if data is an array, good. Let's loop through data, copy that, and yeah, we check each entry. Oh, what have I done? There we go. So say for each data, and we are looping through here, so I'll duplicate that. What's happening to my keyboard? Like that. Remove the double dollar sign. This is actually valid, except it will cause an error, but uh, maybe another another tutorial will show you what how to use this kind of thing, double dollar sign like that, variable, variable. But this is what we have now. So we are looping through here and we are getting the row. So let me just do this. I don't need this and I want this to be a row. So this is a row of notifications, right? So now what we are checking for is if the row because these are notifications, so user ID will remain as user ID. That's fine. 
a notification ID is equal to row ID. Like so. So now, if it's not in there, so if it's not part of the list, then it hasn't been seen. So all we need to do is increment number. Number plus plus. Like so. And then return number. Okay, so let's see if it's actually working. Copy that. So where do we check for this? Obviously in the header. So let's find the header. Header.php, come back here. So where are we putting that zero? Remove the wrapping of words here. That zero is right there. So instead of just putting a zero there, what we will do is check for notifications. So everything else will remain except this div. Uh -huh. So that div with the number should not show. But the image can still show. So that this div will not show. Let me go back here. So this whole red thing should not show if there's no notifications. So let's just put the PHP tags right here. Okay, so right about here, we say check notification. And then we can name this variable anything. I'm just going to name it notif. So this will return a number telling us how many notifications are there. So I'm just going to put it here like so. So I'm using the shorthand form. Let's see if that works. Okay, so we see a two there. Very nice. Even here we are seeing two. If I delete another one in notification scene, let's delete one more. See if the number goes up. There we go. So we have three now. Click there. If I go back, now I have two. But when we go to zero, we should make it disappear. So they shouldn't be that. So this is very easy to do. We just count what the number is. So here we will put an if statement and say, inside a PHP tag, of course, we will say if that is greater than zero, full colon. Okay. And then, and I'm just gonna copy this. Right here, I'll say, and if semicolon, push these guys in a little bit. Okay. There we go, so that disappears, very good. Let me come back here and delete some records, boom. Delete, delete, refresh, and we have a number. Okay, so I hope you have learned something there. I will see you in another video.